this episode five, um, which I believe was titled um, Girl Bye, which uh, <laughs> she and listen, man, I, I'm telling you right now, this is my second favorite because my man Leon oh. came through. Listen, talk about childhood. <laughs> my grandmother used to have, rest in peace to her, she used to have that um, uh, Temptation movie on. It was, it, was a v, it was a VH1 movie, if I'm not mistaken. It was mm-hmm. on VH1 for, for so long. She used to have a, I'm David Ruffin. Oh, that, that, listen, man, Leon is my guy. When he popped up in this episode, Tyra, I was losing my mind. I, that was my favorite cameo because I'm a big Leon yeah. fan. He just goes by Leon now, y'all. Uh, yeah. Tyra, what did you think about Girl By when we find out that she was adapted, adopted by the Jackson family? Um, she also has that another cry scene, which was phenomenal when she's talking to the girl that she met in episode one who now has a baby. Yeah. And she's just lying, oh. lying her. Ooh, and I just, ooh. We, we, if yeah. we wouldn't have known what happened, we wouldn't know she was lying. Like oh, man. the fact that she could switch up and she's changed so much from you know walking in with her raccoon eyes <laughs> to being able to pull the wool over her eyes and man. just really be be convincing. And you know, I met her and the mom, and she came out and hugged me, and I'm doing her make. I was like, I was, that's I was, the scene I was play like, when you're getting the award for the Emmys, that's the scene you play. Is that right. scene? Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Beautiful. I was so moved. I just love the close-ups on her face. I just love Dominique's just natural face, like all of her acne showing her bumps and scars. I, I love that in general. Yeah. But just how convincing she was in that mall and how we just hit her in the heart that that phone was, was disconnected and we hear mm. Harry Jackson. And I set up, I'm like, ooh, who's that? <laughs> who right. is that? There's, you know, another layer here. But we knew whoever it was, it was a problem because, you know, don't call him. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Mm-hmm. And when she ventures to go to the home, it's just like, how are we connecting the dots of where they was living <laughs> to the, you know, this house that they, you know, that we are at this point, I'm just assuming, um, um, Marissa grew up in. I was like, there's such a disconnect. This is a little, you know, lavish. They got a little coin. Well, what is really happening? But when she goes and she is really familiar with the dog and she folds that picture back, and I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> mm-hmm. What? I, I didn't, you know, really expect that at all. And then, Elliot, when I tell you I freaking lost my mind when how you could just imagine how she was treated as a child if you know as it's one thing for her for her you know we need you to be thrown out of the funeral we don't want you yeah. here but yeah. just to like they was ready to take her out leon was to just take her out oh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. he had every intention of killing her it was literally mm-hmm. like girl by like i'm going to kill you leon was acting his butt off i already knew <sighs> when i saw the silhouette when he stepped in i was like is that leon oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, you leon. talk about Black but, don't crack too. My man looked like he yeah, just came man. out of the eighties. Yeah. But just to the distance that this uh this family have went just to separate her, like it wasn't enough just to um let her go back. You know, not want to foster her anymore, and just you know cut her out of the pictures, cut her out of the picture. Just wanted to disconnect her from them in general. Like it, it. it they just didn't care for her. And I'm like, that's not just going to um, happen in that moment of even with the uh, the birthday party incident. Of course, we learn later on why he has such a strong disdain for her. But just to just how compliant the wife was, you could tell, like, even if she did feel some type of way, especially when we meet the real life, it was our goofy movie episode. <laughs> it was um, you could just imagine how he was able to maybe treat her or go about things yeah. and the wife not really say a word or not really step in, not feeling like it was her place, but just the hatred. And like, you did this, you're you're to blame for this. And then mm-hmm. that's when I was like, she she couldn't have killed her because Drea isn't the smartest person in the world. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's one thing to knock somebody out, but there would be, you know, maybe some evidence, you know, Marissa is the one person that we've seen the aftermath, the funeral what's really, you know, happened. We don't know what happened to with, with Khalid's body <laughs> or, you know, how, how she really went about that. Did she just like, what, where, where did that go? But just how eager he was to kill her. And we went from her just, you know, follow the line through the house and really getting back into that childlike innocence of I'm just here. Can you just please turn, turn the phone back on? He's like, you came all the way back here because you were lonely. Like the, the hatred coming up off of that man. And just the, the whole meaning or the reasoning behind adopting her, like we fell on rough times. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our son passed away, like she was never wanted. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. 
it just puts so many different things into perspective, Elliot. And I was once again feeling like I want her to escape, but like, why do we want her to escape? Because she's just gonna go kill some more people. But I, I just loved it. I felt like yeah. this was a really good episode. Like, I think this is uh where Dominique Fishback's acting pushed through the most. Man. Just the reactions that she was having to uh, her memorial in the, I think, the attic or the bedroom, you know, punching mm-hmm. herself in the mm-hmm. stomach, like just. It was a lot, Elliot. Like I could go on forever. I'm gonna let somebody else go, but <laughs> Leon, Leon showed up, and Leon was yeah. outside, and I was, I was, it was on fleek. David <laughs> Ruffin, I'm the leader of this group. Uh, Brandon, man, talk to me about this fifth episode, man. The acting, this lie. I mean, Brandon, I know you. Uh, again, I know you've been praising Dominique the whole time, but your character, you, you, it was hard for you to root for. But yeah, I need to know what was you feeling for on this table, man. This lies that she was telling. Do you believe her? I mean, obviously we know there's a bunch of lie, but I mean, it's just this is me. this is some of the best acting I've seen. Um, and not only that, from her performance, it was just the way that it was captured because yeah. it focused zoom in on her mouth, face, just zooming in real yep. slow. Yeah, but then it zoomed, and, and it didn't have the tears at first when you when it was zoomed in on the mouth. Then when it zoomed out, that's when I think the first tear dropped, or you can see it. And I was just like, "Damn, you know that's amazing right there." Mm-hmm. Um, so th- that that was incredible. You know, she deserves everything for that right there. Uh, but this episode right here scared me the most. I was the most anxious because one where she was in the cell phone store, I was like, "Please, please do not kill Kenny. Do not kill Kenny." <laughs> I like Kenny. You know, he just trying Ricky. to do his job. Yeah, uh, Ricky you know, Thompson, like, right? Yeah, he's pretty. He's a funny yeah. guy. He's a funny guy. <laughs> I'm like, are you gonna kill this man? This man? Like, he, I mean, are you gonna kill this man? Like in broad daylight in the store, like in front of everybody potentially? Like, no. And I was like, I just do not want her to get away with this because you know, I, I was like, no, we need to get her. I'm not. I don't want her to get away. I'm like, I want this menace to die. You know, I, I was. That's how passionate I was. And then I got so scared. I was like. She did what scares me about her character is she just she will that there's no ends to what she would do to get what she wants. Um, and she's so careless with it. I mean, the way she sneaks into the house, um, like I think Elle said how she was comfortable with the dog, or I, I forgot who said that, but I was like, What's going on? You know, where are we right now? Um, but I was just so afraid that she was gonna kill the parents. I'm like, damn, this this is just too much if you kill the parents, like. You're just taking it too far. You know, that's just a line you don't cross. But just speaking of Leon, he was amazing. Um, And I was with him, man. He just, he was at Wiss End. Like, I don't care. I'm in Texas. I will blow your ass away. (laughs) Have a beer and won't think nothing of it. You know, Um, I kind of rolled my eyes when she just picked up the the magazine or whatever and just ran. I'm like, it was a rolling pin. I'm like, like, man, how you not hit her, man? Like, just blow her ass away. You know, but uh, you know, <laughs> she, she got out the car. I mean, she got out the window, and he kept shooting or whatever. I, I just wanted him to hit her so bad. Um, but I'm like, she won't be back. Um, and also, just the, the, the mother didn't. Care. They just didn't. They, they didn't care who died. Live like, look, I'm gonna die. You are gonna die. We're just tired. Somebody's gonna die. We don't. We don't care. The the mother was just like, if it. Like, I, I really feel like. She was just like, you just caused us so much pain. You can't do anything else. Um, Man, how you know? was she as a kid, B? Huh? <laughs> I just want to know how was she as a kid because the way that the mom was unflinched when she pulled that gun, like, right. oh, it's you again here acting the way you always act. Go yeah. talk to my husband. I, don't, I was like. Right. That is that is crazy. And because at first, at first I was kind of feeling sorry for her when she got kicked out the funeral. But now I'm just like, no, you know, th- this is um, th- this is crazy. I mean, you already have to have a big heart. To, I mean, yeah, they needed money, but they still took her in. Uh, but it takes a lot to do that. I don't, I don't know if I can do that, you know. And for them to do that, but then want to give just you're just we're done with you. Um, I don't know. Maybe we do need a prequel series or something. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how I felt. Yeah. Real talk to us. What did you think about uh, the performances, Mr. Leon? The 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 dynamic between those two. Um, the moment here where she's uh, this reminded me of like uh, I can't even remember, uh, but her feeding the the the, the manager the, the smoothie or whatever. What was uh, what was the moment that stood out to you? Um, yeah, I mean, I love Leon, he's definitely black royalty, right? Like, yes, so yes. that was a wonderful surprise seeing him on the screen because I was not expecting that. Um, I thought this episode was great. Her acting when she went into the bedroom. That really 
was I think the moment for me that really got me when she's looking at like the memorial or like the wall that scene right there um is so haunting you know you can really just feel see all of her regrets all of her guilt all of her anguish on her face um I just thought that, that was um very impactful I'm still kind of stuck on you know, first of all, <laughs> Liam, like, we got stand your ground too, okay? Like we might, <laughs> it, works for, it works for us too. <laughs> and he was going, he was going to get her, um, but we really don't know what happened to her once they sent her away. Mm -hmm. And we know that for whatever really kind of happened, they blame her for the distance between them and Marissa. Right. So the only right. assumption that I can kind of make is that Marissa must have at some point in time said, you know, y'all going to get rid of my sister and I'm going to bounce too and kind of right. se sever ties, except for mm -hmm. when she, mm -hmm. maybe she went to her mom and was like, mama, don't tell daddy I need some money. But right. um, we don't know what really happened to her once she was sent away. And that's, that's a hard thing because, you know, that's their child. That kind of makes me still think aside from, the damage that was done to the other little girl. Um, and I don't know that that alone would be the thing. I, I mean, I, it could be the thing, but if they, their daughter was so close to her, that was her sister and she kind of just snapped was that couldn't have been the only thing, I guess is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. So that's what makes me wonder if something happened to Marissa in that moment um, as well, or uh, somewhere along the way, where that's where they're blaming her for everything that happened. But just, it was, it was a very well acted episode. <laughs> I loved it. 10 out of 10. I, I liked Ricky at the beginning. That was, I, that was a nice little yeah. surprise. Yeah. Little levity he's hilarious. At the beginning yeah. of the episode. <clears throat> like, no, no, he's the only one that was like, he's the only character in this whole show oh, that realized how her. crazy she was. You <laughs> get your ass out of here. Right. Not like your vibe, your energy. So shout out to Ricky Thompson for yeah. realizing the negative energy. Yeah. Um, L. Talk to us. Um, I thought this this episode answered a lot of questions for me, but then it gave mm. me more questions, <laughs> too, right? Because when she pulled up to the house, I was like, what the hell these people done did now, right? But then when I saw that she was so familiar with how to get into the garage and then she knew you know that it was that it was her home, right? That it was where she used to live and that you know, whoever lived there got a little coin on them. So why were they living in a trap? You know what I mean? Like, why was Marissa in, you know what I mean, in that apartment with mm -hmm. with her? You know what I mean? Right, when that right. is, um, when their parent, when her parents come from a little bit of coin, right? So I was like, question, I don't know what's up with that. But mm. then when I saw the picture folded over, that made me sad. It really, really did. Yeah. Because... <clears throat> The emotional toll that um, I would assume getting fostered and then completely cut out of a family would take on a like a person with no mental health issues um, mm -hmm. would be quite large, right? So that probably was um, like almost insurmountable for her. And you're right, we don't know what happened to her. Um, after she was sent away, and right, right. when was she sent away? Like, how old were were they when this happened? Um, I don't know if they they mentioned it or not, but um, the mother, I thought at first, I thought it was her reaction was like, "Hey, this, hey, here she go." You know what I mean? <laughs> Pretty much, I was like, she was girl, not. She was unbothered coming back. But then I was like, "This lady has lost all of her children." Right. Exactly. Yeah, she has no exactly. children. And have I not given you everything? She, <laughs> she you know what I mean? And when Too we soon. see that Too she soon. lost a child at six six days old. Um, and then she lost a child not too long ago. She's like, girl, you gonna kill me or what, baby? Because if mm. you're not, then let me get back to my show. You know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> you know, um, and then the the dad. I could only imagine that household being unhappy. I don't know mm -hmm. why. I just feel like it was just unhappy because yeah. Leon came downstairs with a lot of anger and a lot of like, 
rage associated with him but i'm like well yeah you know she she stabbed a little a little white girl you know that's <laughs> That's not good. You know, you're not supposed to do that, but you put her in some therapy, you get on some meds and you, you know, you, you work it out. Right. And even if it was supposed to be for a check, which is also cold blooded, right. You getting a human being so that you can go and get some money that's low down to the ground. So, you know, even if you are on hard times, you need to go do a dash, baby. You need to go <laughs> donate plasma or something, right. You don't just go get a child. But money anyway, but um, yeah, I don't know why she went to that house like that because you know what did you think she, she got the H town on her shirt? She already <laughs> know everybody in Texas got a gun. Right. That's why it was so easy to put her hand on one in the house. Like everybody in Houston has a gun. So when Leon came downstairs with a blucker blucker, I'm not sure how he missed her because that gun was huge. And you, <sighs> me was saying she blocked herself with a rolling pin. I was like. <laughs> Really happened. That's what I was like. I don't she's know if this a child. Happened. She's a child. Ew, that is because, a old kid. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I thought the performances in this were great. And when Dominique Fishback was telling that long, long lie yeah. to Erica in the mall, <laughs> monologue was just, and she whew. was so elated from here on down. Right, like her face, she was so happy. But her eyes and her mannerisms were so sad. And I, I, for a person to display joy and pain like a Frankie Beverly song. Within literally time, seconds of each other. Man, Not a scene with seconds. Of each I, other. I'm yeah. telling you, I was just so impressed with that scene. Because yeah. it looked like she really thought that in her real, like in her mind. Oh, like this was, she, she was telling the truth. She was telling the truth. <laughs> All truth. Yeah, and it just, I was so impressed. And even Erica was like, girl, I'm going to let you have it. I know, <laughs> you like, like, I know that you're lying to me because right. ain't no way this girl with all these bad habits could go and be the makeup artist to the stars when you got crust in your eyes. I like you know, that, she had girl. no makeup on anyway, but episode was great. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I think everyone time. said it on the panel. Yeah, the performances was great. And just like the previous episode, man, I, I really did feel for, I was, <laughs> say what you will, I, I felt for Dre at that moment, man, especially because it's her performance. Um, and it's a little man. bit too, because I love the Do Dominique. I think that's what it is, B. I'm a big Hell Dominique. No, fan, bro. Man. It's just like, I feel bad for it, B. Yeah, I can't wait till we finish wrap up because you said yeah. something in your one of your other videos that I, I, I questioned. I was like, oh my oh, goodness. If, she, if she's evil or not. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. But uh, no, I think, again, they hit us with a back to back, uh, you know, uh, for episode four and five of just amazing performances across the board, especially from uh, Dominique. But again, shout out to my man, Leon. But. Mm -hmm.